I had ideas for some little videos, but for one reason or another they just didn't really turn out. So this one's going to be a, a mishmash. Um, some of those videos I plan to do, which didn't turn out. Um, little snippets of those explaining what's been going on. And also to draw the winner of that um, slightly used stubby cooler. Uh, if you can refer back to a couple of videos, a mate's, mate's motorbike um, got a, had a problem out on the bush, overheating and things. And I put it out there, anyone who could solve the issue got a free stubby cooler. He hasn't got it on the road yet, still, still in the shop getting repaired, um, but we found out what the problem is, so we put everyone in the draw for the chance to win that stubby cooler, so that'll be drawn a little bit further on in the video. Um, quick rundown of the things that have been happening, I guess. Um, took, took a road bike for a test, made a mine Vulcan s chick, link below or link in here somewhere. Um, she let me ride her Vulcan 650. Um, test rode it to see the, how the difference is between a um, the road bike and the dirt bike on the road. So I have been tossing up buying a V-Strom 650, something a little bit more road oriented for some longer trips, um, just to feel a bit more comfortable in the speeds above about 85 k's an hour. And look, I'll put some snippets in here of me riding her bike, and um, she was following me on her mate's Rebel Rebel 500, and. Really smooth bike, eh? Had a heap of grunt off the mark, especially. Took me a little bit to learn how to steer it, you know. I'm used to steering mine and got to lean hers in. Um, but it was a good, good ride and certainly a world of difference between her bike and the DRZ. So the v strom might be, might somewhat be in the near future, but um, I'll come back to that a little bit later on. You know? Yeah. It's identical, like, yeah. Yeah. I can see why you love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with that bike forever, I reckon. <laughs> if I upgrade, I'll probably just get, like, a newer version. I think this is the first time I've been on a highway and I haven't been shaking to death, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it does feel the bumps a little bit. Yeah. But that's, I guess that's good because you've got the hard suspension, I guess, so when you're carrying your load, that's why you don't feel that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So smooth, easy to handle on the road, just something to really consider. I guess one of the factors bringing me back is my kids aren't quite old enough for me just to nick off whenever I like, um, combined with the excess extra cost of you know, insurance, rego, maintenance, that sort of thing. Next few years, I say next few years, but they're still in my search on Marketplace and Gumtree, so um, we'll just see what happens, I guess, yeah. Cal and I went for a ride a few weeks ago now. Um, it was our first sort of ride for about five or so weeks, I think he said. And so we pulled up to our old little spot and got all the GoPros and that ready and an SD card in my GoPro so I had to plug the one out of the drain and chuck it in which caused some issues in itself. Then when I got mine fully connected we pulled over I turned his off so I could reset mine and we forgot to reset his plus his had some sort of look like water edging as you can see in the video here. Um, so basically this planned video was a bit of a write-off but still good fun. Um, we had a good ride, especially on our second lap and that. A uh, little race towards the end was quite exciting. Good to see the young fellow got a bit of confidence back. Um, however, this one where he was over 45 k's an hour and he's hit little divots and that, we thought, yeah, we better better buy him some armour. So we visited Brisbane for a weekend and um, on the way home we stopped in at AMA near Caboolture and we grabbed him this, this pretty cool looking um, Alpine Stars protective armour and um, we haven't we haven't tested it yet because the weather's been pretty 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 soggy and boggy to say the least winners are grinners what do you got mate milky bar yep milky bar milky bars are on me you mm -hmm. beauty uh, i had lots of kids sports on so we've been to netball carnivals and soccer carnivals and that sort of thing so 
been really, really awesome dad stuff to do, but not really content worthy for YouTube and, and that sort of thing. So a bit of family time been in the, has been in the mix as well. After one of those soccer carnivals, my son, was, he, was, he was just too buggered. He didn't really want to go for a ride. So I thought I'd head out for a strut around the bush near our place and couldn't get through to the main sort of loop track um, due to a lot of laying water on the ground, as you'll see. And <laughs> on the way back, stupid me just went to pull his bike up around the gate and look what happens, you know. Just Apparently that's a three ribs, the physio said, that I sort of knocked out of place um, just by pulling it the wrong way. So it's a bit like a twisted ankle. Basically said, you know, that's a twisted ankle. Well, you've done that to your, to your ribs, so... She was kind enough to put all three or so back in place. One didn't quite click the first first visit, and then a couple of days later, the nice solid crack went in and the other one popped into place. So it's been two weeks, two and a half weeks since, since that incident. And I'm just starting to feel like I'm probably ready to hop on a bike and that now. So I've got a, a trip planned tomorrow with a, a, a new bloke. Um, Meeting up with him for the first time, we just spoke yesterday, so we're organising a little day trip adventure ride, um, see how that goes, so but he's, it sounds like he's got a bit of a loop planned and I'm, I'm pretty happy to do anything, so um, it'd be nice just to get on the bike and see some new, new, new areas, so look out for a new video coming. You want to go ahead for a while? No, oh, mate, you're the one who said the phone can't keep up with you. Oh. <laughs> so, Trouble, I don't, know how, I don't know how quick or slow you want to go, so. Uh, I'll just go what I can do, mate. Yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. If you want, yeah. yeah. Don't push yourself on. Uh, I just get a bit excited occasionally, have little yeah, squirts. <laughs> Whoa! Rear tyre sliding out, it's good for about one second. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Four really nerf and do you want to, should we take them now? I've brought two for the start and I forgot to take them. I think we're going to take two now. <laughs> so after about an hour of having lunch and talking about our injuries, uh, we fixed up his handlebars with a bit of bush mechanics and then soldiered on, but we didn't fit in the whole ride. So I think we both trudged on a little bit, trying to salvage some sort of a ride, um, but 
just going through this Chuan uh, pine forest here it quickly got a bit tiresome so both in pain we sort of just scooted back to the back to the cars and headed our ways so at least we made it back what i've gone and got is a little um, electric scooter so my, my mum's actually got a little electric scooter and while we're down in brizzy had a crack on that and so did cal and um, we both came away going yeah you know what that might be another little hobby we get ourselves into so ordered this little electric scooter you can see in the clip now um, it's called an e-move cruiser I got this one because it's not gnarly fast, but it's got a super long battery, so this one, I'll do a video on it separately, but just a quick run down. Uh, you can go between 60 and 100 k's, like in its range, and does anywhere between, what, 25 k's, which is the illegal limit here in Queensland, up to about 50 k's an hour on, on private roads. So plenty quick enough for me, really. If I want to do anything more, more gnarly, I'll hop on the bike. And got Cal, a little one that's on its way. My, my sister and her partner went and picked it up. So he's super excited to get that. And yeah, I'm not going to do, I guess, too many videos on it, but um, just another little hobby for us to get ourselves into, I guess. Cal and I went out for a bit of a fish, didn't have much luck but it was a beautiful day on the water and he had a bit of fun with the bait jig, pulling up pike and all sorts of little reefies, so it was worth the trip. He's huge, and Cal's finally got one off, one, one another one got off, look at those fans eh, it's scaly mate, turning, <laughs> into, turning a into a fish, turning into a fish. Oh, it looks like one other bottle. Yeah. One got off by itself. Yeah, you got one to go now. So we've got some unfinished business. We've got a stubby cooler to give away, an ADV HQ slightly used stubby cooler. Um, now that we kind of know what's wrong with me mates, DRZ, well, we know it needs a rebuild. So the, prog the reason for the rebuild is apparently his thermostat didn't open and it just sl slowly cooked the engine throughout that trip so that's a real bugger um, he's still not on the on the road yet or out in the bush yet um, he's waiting for parts to arrive and he's going to go the big ball kit so engine rebuild big ball kit on its way and we'll see how that how that goes so a bit of a wait because of, i guess covid and stuff um, yeah but thanks to those who who did comment um, some good good answers in there um, because no one actually guessed the exact reason, I've put anyone, everyone who commented in, into the draw. So, a bunch of numbers here. We've got G59, B4, G48, I28, N35, I19, N42, and O66. And then on my tablet, I've given each person who commented a specific number. So, Baz, 66, you want... O sixty six, T Dub Love forty um, N forty two, Mark Gamble's a G forty eight, Mega Fatty eleven is an I twenty eight, Ben exclamation B four, My Life on Two Wheels is N thirty five, Vulcan S Chick you want I nineteen and Heavy Aller, G fifty nine. Here we go. And the winner is it's I nineteen. So Vulcan S G. I nineteen. Well done. You've just won yourself a slightly used <laughs> ADV HQ stubby cooler. So I'll be um, trying to make some contact with you so I can get this in your hands. And congratulations. Cheers guys, so if you enjoyed this little catch up um, and you want to see more make sure to subscribe because there will be more content coming and if you enjoyed the little update press the like or comment let us know your thoughts. Alright, hopefully more coming soon. Hooroo!